Hi, my name is Sadie and I am the Connections Director here at Ridgefield Church of the Nazarene. I hope that you have been enjoying this season of Pray First and that you just haven't grown in knowledge about God, but that you have grown relationally with God and that you've invited Him into all of those pockets of your day-to-day -day things that normally you would just kind of forget that God is even around, but instead He's been present with you during those times. So the next level would be putting aside a day or several hours where you can just spend time with God as a friend. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit what that looks like. I went paddle boarding with God. And I know that sounds silly, but I went paddle boarding with God. I, there was nobody with me. I didn't even take my dog. I went by myself. And um, in that, I could enjoy the sound of the water and, and the breeze in the mountains. And I didn't see anybody else out there at all. Um, I ate some of the blackberries along the river. Um, the whole time, I could feel God with me. And I sang a little bit and I, I just sat there and absorbed a little bit. Um, and it didn't have to be a conversation. It was just enjoying the presence of God Almighty. Um, so it kind of reminded me of the, of the time when Elijah goes out into the wilderness and he goes out and a wind rips through the mountains. And then an earthquake shakes the mountains and then a fire passes through. And it says that God was not in any of those things. But then there was a still whisper. And it says what Elijah did is, is he pulls his cloak over his head and he, he hides himself. Because of the presence of God, God was in that whisper. And the presence of God is both terrifying and intriguing. It's like sitting next to the lion knowing at any moment he can destroy you. Yet he longs to be with you. He longs to sit with you. Once you can experience God at that level, You'll never just sit and read your Bible. You'll never just engage with people because God calls you to engage with people. You'll be able to do it based from a place of love, acceptance, and extreme value that you find in your Savior. So I'm gonna challenge you. Set aside, if you don't have a lot of time, one hour, two hours, but just go out, be with God. No other people, no animals, no pets, nothing that would distract you, and just be with him as you would sit face to face next to a friend. It says that Mo Moses met with God face to face in the tent outside of the camp. God longs to have that relationship with you as well. Take that step, take that time, set that time aside and just practice sitting with him.